Yeah. So my question is about you know uh, uh, in uh, daily life, does it uh, mean that you become a doormat and not respond or react to anyone in any way, you know, even if you're offended? <laughs> Nowhere in the Buddhist text, anywhere, does it instruct the person to sit down and be a doormat. And some people don't realize this. I have a very dear friend who is probably going into the 12th year of a dispute with a man who wants actually the property her father owned. It was a vacant lot next to that man's house where he built it. And they are still fighting about that. And she actually got sick over it. And she lost her job over it. And she had to go home and make money at home in order to survive this whole thing. And I can, I finally got to, the, I was trying to let her figure this out. And finally, I told Bonte, I have to just come out and say it. And he said, well, I expected you to. And I finally said, this is a test for you from the universe about renunciation. It's an acre, a half acre lot of land. Give it to him or just give it, let it go. It's not worth your human life. You know, it's not. This man was paying off the judges, paying off the police, paying off the lawyers, making them quit her case. She had to get more and different ones every couple of years. This was, and she thought, but I have to be a good Buddhist. And um, what's good about this? Nothing in the text anywhere says you are supposed to become a doormat. You have legs, Sarma? Yes. If you have legs, then you need to walk away. When it gets to that point, just walk away because you have to go in your mind. What in the whole world is there that you would hold on to so hard you would be willing to be a doormat? Think about it. Can you you see the question? So tell me what it is. But where is the where is the where is it? You, you see what I'm saying? It's just not there. I looked for her. I really did. I looked in the text every. I kept it in my mind all the time, reading everything. Sutta Nikaya, Nikaya. There is nothing there. I asked the Vivamsas from Burma, "Is it there?" The ones that have the whole thing in their head. It's not there. You should be able to stand up with pride that you are a Buddhist. There's nobody should be able to beat you up. The problem here is in today, a lot of people don't know what the Buddha taught and they don't know what they're supposed to be proud of. You see, that's true. I have young people that have come and said, what am I supposed to do? They're picking on me and they're beating me up because I'm a Buddhist, blah, blah, blah. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, what's going on and when I listened I realized the person didn't know anything about what this was so how could they be proud of it and there certainly is something to be proud about because he doesn't the Buddha doesn't dawdle he says it directly he doesn't order you or tell you or command you about anything the everything he tells you is based on go test it see if it works if it does, use it. If it doesn't, okay, drop it. And I told people once in a retreat, if you don't like this, then, then when you leave, take this thing we printed for you and put it in the trash and that's the end of your retreat. It's fine with me. It doesn't bother me at all. But I'm hoping that if you sit for even a few hours, you might be able to see something that is what I found and what I realized. And what I know, you see, but it's entirely up to the person. Yeah. No doormat. Oh, no, no doormat. <laughs>
I uh, and the person should have forgiveness for him. I put it in the order of forgiveness and then compassion because there's you have enough space for the person to speak and not get upset with them and then loving kindness forgiveness compassion and loving kindness you walk if anybody here has done forgiveness then you if you followed the instructions you went outside and walked one foot the other foot the other foot and started saying i forgive you and you forgive me and i forgive you and you forgive me for half an hour and then went back and started sitting again if you did the practice why were you asked to do that boom 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 forgive 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 that's why you did it see so it's a methodology. He had a lot of methodology. This Buddha is really something. <laughs> it's really, really something. It's from a country girl. <laughs> just say that's a, just amazing the the explanations he had.